Hi, this is CJ Darlington from Mountain View Books, and today I want to walk you through the process of uploading your ebook to Kobo. And I really like Kobo because it allows your book, your ebook, to go into some different international markets. I think they market more internationally because they are an international company. Uh, they aren't based in the United States. And so I'm going to assume that you already have a, an account with Kobo Writing Life, and it's fairly easy to set up, and they'll walk you right through that if you, uh, if you haven't already. Kobo.com slash writing life is where you go, and they'll explain everything. So I'm going to assume that you have that all set up. They'll ask for things like your name, your address, and um, banking information and things like that so they can pay you. And I'm also going to assume, I'm going to sign in here, I'm going to assume that you have an EPUB version of your manuscript because that's the best format to use for Kobo. If you don't, that's something that we can help you with at Mountain View Books as we offer ebook formatting. We can take your uh, Word document and convert it for you so that you don't have any errors and it'll validate properly. So today, today we're going to create it. We're going to upload a new ebook. I'm going to click on the ebooks tab here in the dashboard. And as you can see, I already have a couple books with them, but today I'm going to create a new ebook. And this page here that, that comes up just asks you to fill out information like the book title, and we'll get to that. So we're going to do the title today. It's What I Wish I Knew When I Bought My First Horse. Then asks you if you have a subtitle, which I don't in this case. Some nonfiction books will, though. So it's a good thing to have. Series name. I don't have a series name yet, but that could also change. An author is where you would put your name already filling that out for me and publisher name is where you would put your publisher name obviously if you have one of those you don't have to Mountain View Books LLC is what we're putting there an imprint if we had multiple imprints at Mountain View Books we would put that here but we don't is this the first time you're publishing your book yes and then it asks me for my EISBN you do not have to have an ISBN number to upload an ebook but I always like to have them, and they're something that you can get at Bowker, B-O-W-K-E-R, that company. They, they sell ISBN numbers in the United States. I think they are probably, I think they are the only place that sells ISBN numbers. So I'm going to put that in here. Okay. Primary print ISBN number. I don't have a print ISBN number yet for this book because it's exclusively an ebook. Uh, but with my novels, a lot of times I do, so I'll put the primary print ISBN number here. Is this content part of the public domain? No. Then we scroll down and we get to the area where we want to put our synopsis. And I'm going to go copy that from Word. And I'm going to paste it. And also, Kobo, and I'm going to adjust this a little bit. It looks like I added an extra space there down at the bottom. And it's also adding some extra spaces that I don't want to appear in the book. And it makes it easy if you want to make something bold. Like, for example, say I wanted to make my manuscript bold, I would click on that there. Or if I wanted to make it italics, I'd click on the I, the same way you would in, a, in Word or something like that. But they make it very nice for you. And it looks as if they also will put some bullet points here. For me, which I had in my synopsis, but didn't show up when I actually went to copy and paste it. So I'm going to add those here, because that will look nice, I think, in my description. Very easy. Just take a glance at that, and that's the way I would like it to appear. So I go back to the top of the page, and it's going to ask me to save and continue. Actually, it looks like it's also asking me for my book cover at this point. So. I'm going to click on this area that says Upload Your Book Cover, and I will go find that on my computer. And I sometimes sort things strangely, so I have to find that. I'm going to try the larger version of that cover that I have. Sometimes it doesn't go through to Kobo, and I'll make it a slightly smaller image. So it says the images are limited to 5 megabytes, which this file should be under that, but occasionally it'll kind of get stuck there, so I will um, do a smaller file. So as you can see, it's 
right here it's saying upload the new cover and or it says it's uploading the cover image and that can take a little bit depending on your internet connection and probably all of us wish that our internet connections were a little faster so today I'm just going to sit here and wait for that and I won't pause the video in this case uh, so you can see how long it takes so be patient and it will show up and if it doesn't then you can try again sometimes it requires that but it shouldn't be too difficult. I don't get a huge amount of sales from Kobo, but I really like to diversify and include them in the places that I upload. There are people who buy exclusively from Kobo. Now you can see it went away and now it says that it could not load the image, the cover image here. Now I don't know if that means, I don't think it means that it didn't upload. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save and continue and see if that shows up then in a little bit. It probably is going to need me to fix that. So as you can see, there's a little exclamation point beside this, this section that means that I'm probably missing something in that section. So I'm gonna go back to that in a second. Right now I'm going to upload the content and the content being the EPUB file. Now, as you can see, it says that it also will support the, the .doc, um, in, in Mobi formats and, and things like that, and it'll convert them for you. I don't usually recommend that to people because you could end up with a manuscript or an ebook that has strange formatting. So I always try to go with, with just the EPUB to Kobo. So I am going to do that now. I'm going to find that real quickly. I think I have it in my final ebooks folder. Okay, so I just clicked on that, and now I'm going to click Upload doesn't take too long to upload your EPUB to Kobo. It looks like it is complete, so that's good. Um, now I want to do rights and distribution. I'm going to, well actually I could just click here, but I'm going to click next the way that it has. So it's asking me whether I want to apply digital rights management or DRM. And I do not, because usually that's the recommended um, way that for indie authors they recommend you do not apply digital rights management it can seem a little scary sometimes to not do that but you really don't have to worry about it geographic rights i want to offer in this case world right worldwide rights you could just do the united states or canada or something like that if you would like but i'd like to do worldwide so now i'm going to click save and continue and this is where it asks me um, what price i would like to make the book in this case, I'm going to make it $2.99. And it should, if it is normally acting the way it does, it's going to automatically convert to the other currencies, which is very handy, and I don't have to figure it out. Now, if you look at this, you could go in and manually change these to be a more, like say, instead of $3.98, if I wanted to make it $3.99 Australian dollars, or if I wanted to make it to 20 British pounds, I could do that. But I think I'm just going to leave it here at what it automatically does. And so then we're going to go to save and continue. Okay, and now it's bringing me back to the first area because I did not in edit my categories. I did not include categories for that which was a mistake on my part. So I'm, but the great thing is that it'll just show me here what I need to do. So I am going to go in and pick the category for this book. In this case, it's, it's a nonfiction. So I'm just gonna go down, and this is something you'd probably wanna research ahead of time to find out what the best category is for your book. You can go look at other books that are similar to yours to find out what it's put into. And I'm not 100% sure the way Kobo is going to let me do this. I'm not sure where horses would be. So that's where you just kind of fill around. It looks like it's going to be under pets and I can put horses. So that's good. It'll let me, I believe, select three categories for the ebook. So this could be considered a reference title as well, but instead of clicking reference, I'm going to also just see if there's any other category I can put it in. Now I'm going to look under sports because uh, equestrian things sometimes go there. It looks like horse sports, equestrian, that's good. It doesn't really address horse racing or polo, so we're just gonna leave it at that. 
always try to add as many categories as you can that fit your book. Obviously, you wouldn't want to take a romance novel and put it under a history or something like that. So you want to try to, well, and, and I guess actually there could be some cases where you would want to do that if it's a historical fiction. But in this case, it's not looking like there are too many cat. Oh, looks like Home and Garden also has a pets category, so that's good. I'm going to put horses under that, and that's three categories. And you can fiddle around, and this is something you can probably change later too, so I'm going to confirm that that. And now here I'm going to upload my cover again because it didn't like the way I did it before. This is where I'm going to try for the slightly smaller cover image in case that was the problem. So you get to see the process here of what I do if I come across an error or if something just doesn't go 100% correct. Now it's uploading the new cover image. Now it's still saying it could not load the cover image. So that, I'm not a not sure why it's doing that, so I'm going to just save and continue and see if it will still let me go ahead. Because even though it says it can't load the cover image, doesn't mean that the cover image will not show up. So I am just going to go now to publish my ebook, and I'm going to. You can select whether you want to make it a pre-order. You can pick some pick a date in the future. But in this case, I want to publish it today. So. Even though it said that about my cover, I'm going to go ahead and publish it because if for some reason the cover doesn't show up, I will redo it. So publish my ebook. Very easy. They said that they will review it in 24 to 72 hours and list it on the e list it on the Kobo store. So now I'm going to look and see. Here it says one in progress, and as you can see, it is now showing me the cover. So I think it was just a matter of that for some reason it couldn't give me that preview. Um, so that's how you upload your ebook to Kobo. I hope this little tutorial was helpful for you. If you need any help uh, uh, formatting your ebooks, feel free to contact us at mountainviewbooks.com and we hope that we can be of service to you in the future. Thanks.